Okay, so we're uh, back at it again, making another video for you on Utrepreneur. Uh, this video is gonna be about how to motivate your sales team. So, uh, of course, there's always do this, I give you this kind of motivation, but um, it goes a little bit deeper than that, and I'm gonna go through some of those things here, the things that we do, and, and just things that I, I do in general, I have done over the years in general. Um, so, how do you motivate your sales team? Um, one way is by giving your work a, a deeper meaning, for instance. We have our, our vision statement, our mission statement up on the wall. Everybody knows it. Uh, we put a lot of work into it. We, we talk about it every day. That, that's our vision, that's our mission and what we want to accomplish. So it's very clear, I say, but by making that though and putting it out there, your vision and mission statement, at least you know that's where your bearings are. That's what you're trying to accomplish. <clears throat> Um, and also by giving a deeper meaning, what I mean is, is like, well, what do you do for instance? Well, we do security. So, you know, make sure you're telling your, your, your employees and things that, hey, this is not just a job. People are in need a lot of the times and in desperate need of either getting into their home or getting into their vehicle or, you know, locked out of their house or, or whatever it may be. But people are in desperate times or locked out of your safe. Um, so um, that's one thing is, hey, there is a deeper meaning. We are helping people that are in need. We are a necessary service, a very necessary service. We make people feel comfortable and safe. So you want to make sure you have these conversations with your people and they understand that, hey, this is the bigger picture. You know, you build a little bit more meaning into what they're doing. It's not just a job. Um, and you want to make sure you're, you're, you know, living by that vision and mission statement and reiterating it to your employees. So uh, number one is give your uh, work a deeper meaning. So that's like what we try to do here. I try to tell everybody here is, hey, this is our end game. We're gonna get to here, then we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do that. And along the way, I'm speaking it, and I'm reiterating it, and I'm making sure that this is aligning with our goals to get there. Are we on track to get there? So make sure you have a, you give yourself, your team a deeper meaning into the work, and that should help you a little bit also. Um, <clears throat> another way is make your employees feel valued. Um, get them involved in decision-making. Um, even if you don't have to, just get their take on things. I do that all the time. I'll, hey guys, come here real quick. What do you think? I was thinking about doing this, this, and that. It, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna change my mind or anything, but they may give me an idea. Many times they have, and then I take that idea and say, yeah, that's a good idea, let's do that. So <clears throat> keep your employees involved. Uh, offer growth and advancement opportunities. Um, you don't wanna just be like, here, you're here, work every day, later, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Every day, same thing, same thing. Eventually, every job gets to that point where if you're not, if you don't feel some kind of attachment or some kind of value in the work that you're doing, then it's going to be hard to stay motivated long term. <clears throat> so offer growth and advancement opportunities. Everybody that I, I hire here, I say, hey, I don't want you to be doing that same job years from now. I want you to evolve into this or that. And everybody I hire, I try to hire people that I see potential in them at least so that they can do these things that I want to. Uh, if I'm gonna, which we are, we want to expand and get multiple stores and become the name in the industry across the United States. It's a big goal to accomplish. So I make sure everybody knows that from the interview on and say, hey, if you join this team, this is not a job, this is a career. I'm looking for someone that wants a career path where they can keep moving up and keep getting more responsibilities. So offer growth and advancement opportunities, get them involved in decision makings, <clears throat> create flexible arrangements, you know, I have my guys all the time. They're always, you know, oh, man, I need to be off. I need to be off by this time and that day. Uh, look at the schedule. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem, man. It, it, a lot of companies stick by that. Nope, you didn't let me know two weeks ahead of time, so I can't give it to you. All right, there's, there's no need to do that if you don't have to. I can understand if, you, if they're asking for time. You're like, hey, man, I can't make it work. Next time, let me know earlier. Sorry, but you can take this time. You know, try to work with them, then work against them rather than working against them. So, and compensate fairly and adequately. <clears throat> don't wait until they finally come hey man it's been two years and i haven't got a raise like what's going on what I, you know don't let that happen if they're doing a good job and moving forward then you know pay them adequately and be fair with it <clears throat> and offer rewards cashes prizes spiffs time off whatever may motivate each employee you may have to find out what individually motivates each per each person because not everybody is motivated by money so make them feel valued <clears throat> so another one number three would be emphasize collaboration before competition. So you don't want you guys, you know, competing and I gotta beat him, you gotta beat me, and now you guys are busy competing with each other instead of competing with our competition. So you wanna make sure that you promote collaboration between the team and between employees rather than 
you know, conflict and competition. I mean, there's nothing wrong with fair, fun competition, which we do all the time. We may break them up into teams and say, hey, we get the most upsells in this period of month or whatever it may be. This year has been a little different with COVID. It's kind of thrown off a lot of our competitions and things, but we've still managed to do things like give out gift cards. We do drawings, we do raffles. We do all kinds of things. <clears throat> so make sure you emphasize collaboration before competition. Uh, you've heard the, the saying, teamwork makes the dream work. Well, that's basically what we're talking about there. <clears throat> you wanna be busy competing against competitors, not each other. And reward mentoring and knowledge sharing to overcome competition. You want you guys to not feel like, I wanna teach him this because he may take my job. I don't, that doesn't fly here, we don't do that here. If you're not willing to share and help the team members that you don't belong here pretty much is what we say. So everybody here needs to be willing to help each other. Hey, let me show you how this, I ran across this problem. Next time you see this, do this or that. Oh, okay, good, good. You want your guys working together. This is not a, this is a competition between us and other uh, companies in our industry and not between ourselves. And even though we are competing on a fun level and maybe even sales competitions and things like that, but make sure that they're focused on the real competition not inside competition, not on your own employees competing with each other. Uh, <clears throat> another thing is you wanna encourage and recognize uh, initiative. If someone goes the extra, mi uh, extra mile, does something extra, recognize it, do it, which we do here, I'll, I'll write them a ticket. When anybody does anything above and beyond or anything really good, I'll write them a little ticket and we put it in the, the raffle drawing and we have a meeting, we go through that raffle drawing and pull a random ticket. And all those tickets are from people doing above and beyond or something good. And, uh, and they win one of the prizes that I have up there. Um, and, and don't make it worthwhile to put a $10 gift card in there. Be like, oh, I got you a five or $10 gift card. You know, I try to spend you know 80 to $100 on some of these things to make sure that, hey, we really appreciate it. You know, keep up the good work and keep people motivated and going. Um, you also want to uh, give your when I said encourage and recognize initiative, you want to uh, help cultivate their ideas also. So, hey, that's a really good idea, but what about if we do this or that? You know, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. You know, you want these guys thinking. You don't want to be, I tell my guys all the time, I don't want to be the only one coming up with ideas. I want you guys coming up with ideas and let's implement those ideas because we work better as a group and as a team instead of one person and then everybody else is just, yes sir. You know, you want, you want people to be able to think and create up, be creative and come up with other ideas. <clears throat> so give freedom and space for them to try their ideas also. Don't just, you know, poo poo them or whatever you call it and knock them out of the way and say, ah, get out of here. So um, help, help them cultivate their ideas, give them freedom and space to try their ideas. <clears throat> and another one is celebrate the small wins. You know, you go out, you had a good week, you, you guys kick butt. Come on guys, let's go out and get a drink. You know, and you go and take the guys out there, camaraderie, have a drink together, buy them a couple of drinks, and have food, uh, have some food, and talk, and then and move on. And that way, you're you're building the camaraderie, and you're showing the guys you appreciate them. You're spending time getting to know your guys. You know, you don't want to treat them as if they're just a, a you know a collector for you. Just go out and collect your money and give it to you, and then you cast them aside really quickly and and move on with your day, right? So. Make them feel involved, uh, celebrate the small wins, take them out for a drink, do company outings. We've done fishing charters, we've been to top, top golf, we've done many bars and drinks and different things. I can't think of it right now, but we've done many different things. Not so much this year because of COVID, but as soon as that's kind of gets out of the way here, then, then we'll get right back onto it the same way we've done before. Um, <clears throat> also, you wanna make sure you stay positive and uh, connect. Uh, connect them to the future career. You want to say, hey, this is where I see you. You're doing this and this. We can take you here, 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 and here. And then you can help me run this and that and this. I'm painting the picture for them. I'm, I'm, I'm giving them something to work towards. So you want to make sure you uh, give them a path to, to more responsibility and more income. Uh, <clears throat> train them along the way. Uh, give them day-to-day -day activities that help them move closer to that end game. Uh, I do have, like, for instance, I have an employee right now. I'm trying to develop him into some sort of a project manager at some point. And uh, he's a great uh, technician and he's good at upselling and doing things like that. But doesn't mean he's a great leader yet. So that means I need to work on that and start grooming him to be a leader and having the leadership qualities and, and, uh, and leading from the front, so to say. So uh, make sure they have a path for, for future career and make sure that you're giving them tasks that help them get that uh, get there so they feel they're accomplishing something. And then, like I just said a minute ago, lead from the front, which is funny, we have a series 
on uh, Guardian Safe and Lock YouTube channel called Leading from the Front. So, uh, but yeah, lead from the front. Don't be a task distributor uh, while sitting on your butt. You know, you want to get out there sometime to show them. Uh, you want to show that even the, the most basic work is not below you. I'll pick up a broom and sweep the floor, but I have to take the trash out of it. I have to do whatever it is. It shouldn't be, <clears throat> you don't want to feel like, here, do that because I said so and because you're a scrub. You know, you don't want to feel like that. So you lead from the front, show them that you're willing to do it too because if you're not complaining about it as the owner, they better not complain about it, right? So, and they shouldn't, they probably won't if they see that you're willing to do whatever you need to do too. As a matter of fact, they make it feel like I better not say anything because he's willing to do it, you know? So lead from the front, lead by example. <clears throat> the last thing I had on my list here was be transparent and honest. Um, I run things by my team all the time, even though I don't have to. Uh, I'd like to know what their, their uh, input is. I mean, uh, why wouldn't you have 10 people that are going to give you an opinion right now before you do whatever it is you're going to do. And three of those people may say something that you didn't think about and it might even change the way you, you decide to go forward with it. So it's, it's better. It's better that way. You make better decisions when you have a group and you hear other uh, points of views and things like that. So ask their opinions, make them feel involved, uh, sweat together, right? Work together. We've spent many late nights here doing just that. You know, picking up, cleaning, hammering this, putting pictures up, changing light bulbs out, putting up, um, you know, building furniture, putting up dry erase boards, and, and organizing parts rooms, and service vehicles, and all those kind of things. So, all those things help you bond together. Uh, it's good that it get, makes you feel like you're part of a team and not so much an individual out there just trying to uh, do your job, right? So, um, of course, you have the standard ways. You know, you you motivate them through. Uh, money or a prize or thing like that too but you want to do all those different things and be transparent be honest and don't make it seem like you're hiding a bunch of things you know just tell them what's going on share your information and uh and this way you'll build a team and you'll keep your guys motivated and ready to work hard for you and, and be loyal so anyway hopefully this will help you uh i do a lot of these things if not all of them so uh we we have a pretty good team and uh, group because of that and uh, that's why we're making this video to share that with you. So uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Thanks again for tuning in to Udrepreneur. Um, hopefully this helps you uh, motivate your sales guys or at least gives you another perspective. Um, and uh, let us know if you have any comments or questions or, or even an idea for a video, feel free to leave it in the comments and let us know and we'll go ahead and make that for you. Um, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and uh, hit the bell icon for uh, notifications. You can follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or all the social media platforms. We appreciate the support as always, and until next time.